live, pal. We're live, pal. We're live, pal. A lot of loose chords. Um, all right, do you want to hit play on the um, the thing so that we've got baseball bunch in the background? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, we have baseball bunch in the background. Uh, Saturday here, um, Leader of the Pack, episode four, season two. Um, Marion sitting in for producer Matt on the opposite side. Hi. Uh, getting used to, uh, we upgraded some of the, we're continuing the efforts. Each episode, we're upgrading a little bit more of the equipment. Yep. Um, so. um, three people in here right now. If we could get a audio check, see how this audio is going Audio check. For us. Snaps for everyone. Snaps all around. Yep. Anybody? Just, just waiting for anybody just to, wait for to anybody. just cheer up and, and. Oh, you out there. Sounds us, good. A bit dark. Sounds good. Bit right. dark. We're All a right. bit dark today. You could turn the light on behind you if you want. I could put on that really shiny camera. Yeah, you could put on that shiny light. No, no, don't go to the low one, the high one, the tall one. All right. Better with the light. Hopefully, better with the light. Better with the light, Patrick. <laughs> light. Light. Let check. there be light. Light check. Light check. Light, light check. So it's light check, uh, height check, light check, sound check. Uh, it's like the Czech Republic. So to a certain extent. Um, all right, so we're uh, we're we're diving in here. We're doing a uh, better light. Uh, tops uh, 1989 pack uh, of cards. You need to do the thing that you were gonna do. Up, uh, that will be at the end. Okay. We're gonna do that at the end. All right. Don't worry. Um, but yeah, tops tops 89. Um, believe we've done a, a a pack or two of these before. Uh, in last season, we've got puzzles. There's puzzles. Puzzles. Um, no uh, puzzles, no puzzles, no puzzles. I hope all 26 MB, MBP cards are in there. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, there's only probably uh, 15 in, in the pack. So that's Warren Spawn puzzle. Yeah. Nice. Because right, if you if you wanted a Warren Spawn puzzle, you you, you can go for it here. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Producer Marion, let me uh let me see some notes here. Donruss 89. Donruss 89. We're looking for a Ken Griffey Jr. Oh. A Kurt Schilling. Kurt Schilling. Schilling. Mm, okay. Uh. Gary Gary Sheffield? I can't read your handwriting, I'm mm -hmm. sorry. Okay, it's let's just, blame that. It's early Saturday. Uh, a Bo Jackson. Yeah. Always. Bunting, question mark, question mark. Right, he's 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 got a bunter stance in that. And also there might be a Nolan Ryan coming in. Of course there's a Nolan Ryan. There there should be. Um so if we're ready to go, um let's let's dig into this one. Uh behind us uh for a Saturday morning it's a episode of the baseball bunch. Right. Featuring Chet Lemon, everybody's uh, favorite there, White Sox. There he is, chicken. Chet Lemon, and wearing ch chicken and Chet Lemon's wearing that terrible <laughs> uniform that looks like pajamas. Get him! All right. Oh, this is a really this is a, a cool part of the puzzle. <laughs> really like that. Now I can tell that's Warren Spawn. Silliness. It's just come on. I know it's random, but. Oh, there's is the, it a shoulder? If you, guys, if you guys can see at home, there is the black and white photo of yeah. what the puzzle is supposed to look like. If right. I could get a little right. bit in focus. Not this I dumb shoulder piece. Because, you know what? The picture on the back of the puzzle piece isn't all that great. It doesn't yet. really help. So there you go. There's your leader of the pack. pack. Yeah, there you go. Puzzle. <laughs> I'm going to build that puzzle one day. I'm going to collect all these packs. All right. Uh, power hitter. Uh, pro wrestling fan, by the way. Uh, twins first baseman Kent Herbeck. Um, was a uh, was was a big time uh, power hitter uh, through the '80s into the early '90s. Uh, teammate of, of Kirby Puckett, uh, pretty much his whole career. I don't think Herbeck played anywhere else. I think he was a, a, a Twinkie for uh, Twinkie for life. Uh, eighty-four Twins, eighty-five Twins, eighty-six. Oh, he twins, came. He came before that. Twins, eighty-eight Twins. Yeah, I'm starting to see a pattern here. Yes. Throws right, and yeah. he's 244 pounds. Everybody. Whoa! Okay, big, big <laughs> bouncing baby boy, Kent Herbeck. Um, but yeah, he's a he's a, a fearsome, uh, a fearsome power hitter. Uh, we've got a, on the opposite side of the spectrum. We've got a uh, a speedster, um, Juan Samuel, a Phillies legend? Question mark. Juan. Um, played for the Mets, of course. The famous trade that sent, and I think it was in this upcoming 89 season or the 90 season, which wave goodbye, Lenny Dykstra. Go to Philadelphia, do a ton of steroids, become like a real trash person. We get Juan Samuel for a few seasons and he was 
Thumbs Garbage. down. Garbage. 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 Not uh, very great. That, but good as a Philly. I'll, I'll say that. I don't like that Philly's uniform. Garbage. No? No. Don't like it. The classic pinstripe like with thing. the with the ball in no. the center of the paint? No. Oh. Oh. You're just angry. Not a fan. Not a fan. We've got a... Uh, hey, Yankee fans. Tough critic today. One of, one of your favorites. Uh, oh. Or maybe not one of your favorites. Uh, Yankee outfielder Hal Morris. Uh, does he come back for old-timers day? That's a good question. Uh, it... Do a lot of Yankee fans remember that he was going to be like the next big hope? That he was going to be the great outfielder to 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 take the reins from Dave Winfield and 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 be great for the Yankees? Maybe I don't know. He never lived up to his expectations if you had any. Um, but still, you know, he's here and he's in this pack and he's here. He's in that pack. He's given that stern look and he has blue screen in the background. Yes. Yeah, so, so, so maybe, maybe like very blue sky. Maybe enough. the weather comes yeah, up after that. Either that or maybe he's in Minnesota. He's, Having his picture taken, he's pitching off in C in that. <laughs> the hefty bag that was the uh, the uh, Minnesota the Twins. The chicken has some kind of horn in his mouth. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be distracted by the chicken. You're here to produce, not to watch baseball bunch. Uh, Oakland A's infielder, uh, overall good guy, Mike Gallego. Uh, good fielder, um, a little bit of speed, not Ricky speed, but a little little bit of speed. Um, might have uh, ended up as a Yankee, I think, infielder. Maybe the fourth best shortstop in Yankee history. I don't know. I think everybody's the fourth best shortstop in Yankee history. Um, Jeter's seventh. But, uh. <laughs> truth. <laughs> we bring you truth on Saturdays. So we want to do a height check from Mike Gallego? Because I, I think he's short. For all three, he's in the chat yeah, right now. Is... We got a height check on Mike Gallego. It's, it's everybody wiping the sleep out of their eyes right, Saturday morning. Come on, up skis. Get ready. Yeah, it's yeah. up time. Yeah, it's, it's up, up time. time. It's time to do Mike uh, uh, height check with get, Mike Gallego. Get I'm your cereal bowls ready. Mike uh, Gallego, uh, five foot nine. Patrick said five nine. Todd oh. said five eight. Wow, we're really going short and on Mike Gallego. George Hen, five ten. Five ten. All right. So Mike Gallego, we're all saying and under six feet considering tall. Considering there's only three people in this chat, Fine. that's it. Perfect. Who wins? Who gets it? He's probably seven feet three. Five eight. Five eight. Oh. Todd. Oh, Todd was 5'8". I said 5'9". Yeah. Okay. Todd is 5'8". 5'8". And so is Mike. No, whatever his last name I might be Mike Gallego. Oh. I might be 5'8". I don't know. It's controversy That's about my height. Produce, yeah, producer I Matt does be not too. believe how tall I am. Uh, Astro, Astros pitcher Juan Agosto. Juan Agosto. Um, part of the, uh, the bullpen staff. For the Astros? Try to focus this year. I think. Yeah, focus one Todd Augusto. says he's 5'8 in heels. <laughs> yeah, well, he could be. He could be. Let's reach for the sky. All right. Now, now this is a... I like this uniform. The A's, the Astros. Absolutely. With the star like the, and the stripes and the hat. Yeah? Yeah. Now, better than the popsicle-looking one from the early part of the 80s that was the orange kid that had the, the, the rainbow, the this, orange and... and uh, like blue, light blue, uh, yellow, white guy. I would have to re-see it. Not imagining I it in can't my head right now. I can imagine that you're not imagining this in your head. I would have to re-see it. I would right. have to revisit it. That it is. That's a good. But that's a good. Yeah, it's so an like alternate little, jersey too. Little pullover guy too. Yeah. yeah. The stripes. Up. I prefer a button-up jersey. If I gotta be honest. Partial to the Astros anyway. I love Tiny Altuve. They're not. Oh, he's having a terrible. He's having a terrible season, by the way, because <laughs> yes, he, he can't hear the he can't hear the trash cans banging in the background. Uh, you know who doesn't need trash cans to hit home runs? Lloyd Mosby. I've been waiting for a Lloyd Mosby card this whole series. Haven't gotten one yet. Here's Lloyd Mosby, Toronto Blue Jays superstar for the Toronto Blue Jays. Spoiler alert: okay. This could be Ricky uh, leader of the pack because you are super excited. I'm super about excited. It. He's not a great player. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, but uh, Lloyd Mosby. I don't know. I, that, it was kind of like. He's, he he kind of sounded like a character on a on a sitcom. Just move over for a bit. You, you gotta see this chicken doing things. This is unreal. Why don't we just do a show he's about the greatest. this? Yeah, this no, show. he's the greatest mascot in the history of oh, baseball. Oh, he's getting trampled. Oh. Give me, give me the chicken over the. Uh, yeah, the Philadelphia, Philadelphia fanatic can Philly kick fanatic rocks. Can get out of chicken here. all day. Stupid waving his. Chicken all day. Stupid green body in front of people. Seriously. It's a kid show. All right. Uh. Real disappointment as a Major League Baseball player, but uh, uh, Dodgers Mike Marshall. Um, all the potential in the world to be a big-time power hitter, and I think he had a season or two where he was there. 
but not great. The Mets ended up with him for a while, and he was a disaster. Uh, played a little first base, little outfield. Yes, you're, is it the chicken? You're just really you're in love with the chicken today. Um, I, uh, it's your guy. You'll, you'll see it later. It's right. like perfect. It's like you, the chicken, the card. <laughs> you'll, see, you'll see it later. I that's can't. how I want to Why be. Why did you put this on? That's how, <laughs> because I figured you'd be here and the chicken would drive me crazy. Uh, I, this might be a rookie card. I think, uh, or a second year card. Baltimore Orioles, one of my favorite Baltimore hey. Orioles, by the way. Brady Anderson. Shout out to Brady Anderson for being a, uh, a guy who did steroids and admitted it. Maybe he admitted it? I think he admitted it. Um, uh, this was before he got all jacked up and hit a lot of taters. Yeah. Uh, he, was a, uh, he was a great player. I loved this hustle. Loved him as an outfielder. Had some speed. Popped the ball out of the park. Uh... I like the Orioles. Like, I, I, I can't say enough about, you know. He, too, also looks super sleepy for a Saturday morning. Cal, Cal's Pals. Cal's Pals. Cal's Pals. The Orioles in that time. Well, it could be a rookie card. I'll have no to look into that. On the back. I'll have to look into that. He's not a rated rookie, so I think they're kind of devaluing him. We just mentioned Cal. Patrick says stunk before and after steroids. All right. Well, during steroids, he was a great. We mentioned that the Orioles at that time were called Cal's Pals because I just made that nickname up for them. You know who's the main pal? Cal himself. Oh. MVP. 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 Oh. Cal Ripken. Uh, sometimes ranks as my favorite baseball player of all time. Sometimes ranks as my second favorite baseball player. It, it's him and Ricky. They run neck and neck. It depends on what kind of mood I'm in. You don't so it's a Cal day or if it's a rookie Cal. day. Love Cal Ripken. Yeah. One of the greatest... American athletes in the history of our nation. It's a nice card. It's a I great mean, card. MVP. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Um, this wasn't an MVP season for him. But he had been a league MVP not before. Not worth anything, though. No. No, because no, it's not a regular card. It's a specialty card. But I, it's it's a good keepsake one. Um, it's a nice pull, Calvin, as they say. Calvin Cal Ripken. Calvin. Calvin Cal Irwin Ripken. Maryland's favorite son. Mr. Cal Ripken. <laughs> Here's Boston's favorite son, Red Sox pitcher Mike Smithson. I don't know if he's uh, Boston's favorite son. I think he was just Boston's son for a while. And he just had custody for him uh, of him on the weekends. Okay. I know it's a sad story. <laughs> Mike, I don't. I don't have a lot of good Mike All Smithson. Right. I'm, I'm coming off the high of Brady Anderson and Cal Ripken Ooh, yeah. and Lloyd Mosby <laughs> as a one-two-three punch. Well, and that Mike Marshall card was in there too. But still. We're, we're, we're cooking with gas here. Yeah. We've got shortstop, infielder, third baseman, all jack of all trades. Royals, Kurt Stillwell. Stillwell Angel. Stillwell Angel. <laughs> uh, I was just watching some Stillwell. highlights. Stillwell! Uh, before I popped on the baseball watch, I was watching some uh, some bloopers oh. from uh, from the late 80s. And uh, Kurt Stillwell sliding in towards Sorry. home plate, did not make it all the way, and had to crawl, do an army crawl to get there. Oh, there but he is. made it. He, uh, he he beat the tag, Kurt Stillwell. He's uh, he's a player. He's your man. He's a guy. I thought you were gonna say I was just watching League of Their Own before this. <laughs> League of Their Own was on yesterday. <laughs> Don't look for the new League of Their Own, by the way, uh, coming to Amazon or. or... Up. Second baseman, <laughs> uh, Reds, uh, Cincinnati Reds, Ron Oist Oster. O Oyster. Ron Oster. 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 Uh, slick um, glove. Uh, could get it done in the field. Probably cannot get it done at the plate. Uh, a singles hitter uh, could ground into a few double plays. <laughs> Not a lot of speed on Ron Oyster. Oster? It's a good joke, Todd. Oster. <laughs> Oyster? Oyster. It's Oster. Second baseman. He was there. Uh, tail end of the big red machine. Hey, Diamond Kings. Here's a, here's a lovely Diamond Kings of uh, Diamond Chicago... Girl. Chicago White Sox catcher mm. Carlton Fisk, Hall of Famer in his own right. Hmm. Pretty. I don't, I don't they fired their portrait taker. This was a. That's a. That's a like a uh, artist rendering. Yeah. You're saying so that that's they, garbage. They hired somebody to draw this. Well, this the Diamond Kings were were drawings. It's more artistic hmm. than it is an actual photo of them in action or standing there. I feel like you don't know baseball cards. 
this little figurine next to him is doing some kind of punchy. <laughs> He's getting punch, ready to punch the ground. <laughs> throw a guy out. Uh, getting towards the end here, we've got uh, Red's pitcher and uh, uh, had perfect game thrown by Tom Browning. Mm. Um, also befell a terrible arm injury. Tom Browning that ended his um, career. Terrible. Yeah, I think he just his arm just fell off. Just rotate like his rotator cuff like flew across. The Ew, gross. It bad, bad. It's not Dave Dravecki where it like Ew, gross. fished out. <laughs> I don't think. Oh, he checked. He checked. Either way. Um, but yeah, uh, Tom Browning do a perfect game. He'll always go down in history. So take that, everybody. That's mean. That's mean to say. Oh, uh, last card. We might want to get that horn out because we have another bad '80s pitcher, but good mustache. Uh, Tom, don't call me Michael Bolton. Uh, pitcher for those very, uh, those very Boston Red Sox. Uh, just kind of. A... Okay, here we go. This is what you bring as a producer: just sound effects. Sound effects for garbage players and garbage cards. Yeah. Um, that's but that's the pack, kids. Could be uh, mustache nothing. Oh yeah, no, the mustache is mustache, and mustache. Is, is he a le- is he a lefty? Because we oh. like lefties. Yesterday was. Uh, There's a lefty. No, Thursday was uh, Left Handers Day. Happy oh, Left Handers Day. We should have done a show on Left Handers Day. We always get lefties. Should have done it on the left side ah, instead of the right side. Ding ding ding. Yeah. Leader of the pack is uh, Cal Ripken. I'm not taking any other. I have to find him. Oh, He's there. He is. It's right there. All right. Cal Ripon's your leader of the pack, kids. Um, MVP. 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 We could go Kent Herback, maybe. Brady Anderson's a good card. we got to make sure that that might be a rookie. No, you're, the Cal Ripon. You're Jones and for Cal. My dude. My dude, Cal Ripon. Finally. Um, so that's the show. Uh, very special birthday shout-out. Uh Turning seven years old today. The big uh, seven. Little Johnny Militano, seven. <laughs> That's a backward seven. So you're reading that that way. Uh, so uh, happy birthday to uh, to little Johnny. Um, hope you have a, a super fantastic uh, um, day. Up Maine in, horrific. In Maine, yes, he's uh, on vacation in Maine. He's enjoying that lobster like a, a seven-year-old should. Have a lobster, kid. Also, you're seven now. Get a job. You can work from home, because that's what the quarantine has taught us. You can work from home, but that's, that's the year, that's the year that everybody should get a job. I'm earn not that, saying sweat earn that lobster in that juice box. That's right. That's right. <laughs> but have a fun, super fun birthday, um, and that's that's our show. Uh, I think it went well. It did. A little new equipment little here. New little equipment. tripod city. Gonna have to probably charge a lot of things on this thing, but yeah. You know. It just adds more to our right. our technical side of things. We're gonna play around with stuff. Um, we'll be back on Wednesday uh, in our new in our normal spot. Yeah. Um, uh, I think producer Matt will be back. Producer Wednesday. Matt should be here. We're not sure. McDonough's is is and and the call of the kitchen is the siren song that takes away our producer, even on a special uh, Saturday show. Matt, um, your spatula misses you. <laughs> so uh, so that's it for uh, for myself, for uh, guest producer Marion, for uh, for helping out. Uh, for the San Diego Chicken. Oh, he's definitely the San Diego Chicken special guest star. <laughs> special guest star. <laughs> Chet Lemon was in that episode too. Uh, for uh, Tiny Buster Bluth, and uh, if we could get him, like I don't know if you might have to. to oh pull no, out of here. you got him. We got him. We got Muda. We got Muda. So uh, also for yeah for the great Muta uh, who overlooks us. Um, have a fun Saturday. Um, go uh, go go uh, go fishing. Is that it? That's it, yeah. Okay. Did you stop? Uh.